Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. In this very special video, I would like to answer all of the questions in the assignment 2 for subject Advanced Manufacturing Process given by Associate Professor Dr. Nur Izan Sharah binti Hussein. Okay, let's get started. In the first slide, I'm going to answer the first question. In my best opinion, the abrasive water jet machining is the best process to cut the metal workpiece as shown in the figure 1. My justification would be the abrasive water jet machining will not create any heat affected zone and this will create no microstructural and micro hardness changes. Hence, will give a very clean cut and the company don't have to invest for further for the final surface treatment. Last but not least, the company will save the cost as the machine is low in maintenance as there is no cutting tool used in the process and a very little heat generated that can cost anywhere or care. In the next slide, I will explain the working principle of the abrasive water jet machining. In fundamental, abrasive water jet machining is the using of the mechanical energy to cut the material from a very high velocity of water along with the abrasive particle that hit the material to break the bond of the particles existed. As referred to the figure 2, a very high pressure water is injected through the orifice while the abrasive is injected through the abrasive inlet. Then both of the materials will be in the mixing chamber then will go through the focusing tube and finally will be injected through the nozzle straight onto the workpiece surface. As referred to the table 1, there are the important process parameters on abrasive water jet machining that will affect on the cutting ability. The first one is the standoff machine. The standoff machine as we look on the figure 2 is the distance between the surface of the workpiece and the nozzle of the machine. The higher the standoff distance, the smaller the depth of cut for the workpiece. Second one is the diameter of the nozzle. The smaller the nozzle diameter, the higher the velocity of water. Based on the pressure law, force over area, the nozzle diameter will determine the area of the pressure, thus creating a very high pressure by decreasing the nozzle diameter. Lastly is the mass flow rate. The higher the mass flow rate, the decrease the cutting ability because the kinetic energy that transfer from the pressure must be distributed among a larger number of abrasive particles. Thus, one particle can only have a small kinetic energy that can be absorbed. On the fourth slide, I will answer the last question. In determining the best material that can have the deepest welding penetration, I'm using the formula of heat welding by utilization of all the information given in the table 2. In my calculation, firstly, I calculate the heat input by dividing the laser power in watts or joule per second by the welding speed. After that, I inserted into the heat welding by multiply the transfer efficiency, the melting efficiency and the heat input obtained by the first calculation. Finally, I can observe the heat welding for stainless steel is higher than low carbon steel. Therefore, the stainless steel will give deeper penetration in the laser welding. For the next slide, as we can see from the table 3, the wavelength of the azimuth laser is lower than the Andy Yak laser. The smaller the wavelength, the more the energy absorption in the photons by greater number of electrons that bonds onto the workpiece, thus making the absorption rate for the material to increase and give out a better depth penetration in the welding process. Therefore, in machining the stainless steel material, azimuth laser is the best machining process in giving the deepest penetration as compared to the Andy Yak laser. Lastly, here is my justification of the water jet machining in is interesting in the ceramic industry. Water jet machining will not create any heat affected zone. Therefore, there will be no particle distortion in the material, thus giving out a very clean and precise cutting result. The company will not have to further invest for any final, final additional surface treatment of the product, thus will reduce the cost but still achieving the best quality of the products produced. In water jet machining, there are also no limitation on the geometry or the dimension to be machining. Thus, the company can offer various types of ceramic design to meet the customer demand. 
on the last slide is the references I used in answering this assignment. Lastly, I would like to give a very huge thank you to everyone for watching this video. Have a very nice day ahead. Assalamualaikum.